Good morning. We have gotten up, had breakfast, um, we've packed up all of our things and we are leaving soon because we are going to a new country. Well, not new. We've both been there before. Um, I was only there for like 10 hours, but anyway, we're excited. We had to have, um, well, I shouldn't say had because it was really good. We had rice and veggies, <laughs> but we just tried to clean out the rest of the stuff that we had. <laughs> we had to suffer through a delicious... Stir fry breakfast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some people don't have any food. We do have vegetables and rice and sauce. Yeah. Our lives are so hard. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so we're about to leave. And we wrote in the guest book here. And this place has been on Airbnb since Airbnb was probably even founded in like 2014. So yeah, we're just about to go. We don't have to be... Our flight's not until like 6 o'clock. So we have... A few hours to kill. I really want to go back to the place where we had cheesecake last night um, because it was so good and that's just what I want to do. And then we can do something Sean wants to do because it's all about balance. This is what I have to deal with. I don't think that we've shown this. I did. Oh. I'm on top of things. It's hot AF in the sun. Oh yeah, it's quite warm. Wow, it's warm. Yeah. <laughs> this is almost t-shirt weather. Hmm. And we have to wear our jackets and our scarves. Or lug them around. All packed up and ready to go. Get your jacket. <laughs> So it's very bright and sunny. Um, there were no tables open at the restaurant, but I was desperate enough that I got it to go. I am having so much fun basking in this sun. I am so sad that this is the one day it's nice. I'm having the best time and I never want to leave this spot. That's pretty much all I have to say. You can find me here for the next three hours. <laughs> Our plane is not here. So we landed in Budapest and it is considerably colder here than it was in Thessaloniki today. It was 16 degrees and sunny and now we're in like 3 degree weather and we need to get our car to take us to Airbnb and Sean found that app because they don't have Uber here and it's called Bolt and it's pretty much the same thing and what was the one called in Thessaloniki? Feet. Feet. So if the country or if the city doesn't have Uber they probably have an app that's like it. You just have to look it up. Good morning it is Saturday December 14th. Um, we're in Budapest getting ready to go out. We haven't done a whole lot of filming here. We've been out in the evenings um, and um, went out last night to the the baths, the thermal baths. I can't pronounce the name properly, so maybe Jamie can drop a name or a pin or something right there. Uh, we did that. We did a pretty cool thing, which was going into, um, they had a spa treatment, which was like beer themed. So they put all the elements, ingredients of beer into like a hot water bath. Uh, so you get to soak in like malt and hops, which sounds a bit silly, but um, there is medicinal properties to all those things and they explain it to us. And he had a limited beer on tap right next to you, which was really the selling point. So we had some beers, sat in some beers, and then we hit the thermal baths. So today we're going to go out into the town.
just got out of the labyrinth. It's like these underground caves. Um, it's actually where Dracula was held captive. Um, it was terrifying. <laughs> like, I think that it would be really cool if you weren't scared of things like that. But I went to the catacombs and I don't know if it was because there were a lot more people down there or because I had seen it before and knew what to expect. But this I didn't realize, like, it was not very well lit. A lot of very dark places, it was very creepy. She just petrified. I was honestly so scared. Um, so, but I'm like kind of afraid of the dark anyways. <laughs> but it, like some of the parts were pitch black, like no light. There was a, a maze of darkness that you had like a rope kind of on the wall to follow it and I literally would not go in, but Sean did it. <laughs> um, we have some time before our little cruise, so I'm not sure. I think we'll just peruse the Christmas markets maybe. I feel like a weight was, is off my shoulders. I was like, I hate this, I hate this. And there's a big sculpture of a snake in a room. And I definitely recommend it. <laughs> Got a naked lady. Let it snow. Second beers. We got a pizza. What the hell? <laughs> Even if it had advertised 45 minute cruise with unlimited beer and pizza, I still would have probably done it. Because that sounds fine. But I was expecting a whole other additional, almost half of this amount. Oh, Sean was complaining <laughs> because we thought that we were going to have to get off the boat. But it turns out that they usually have two boats, um, and they only have one today. And so they had to get back in time to pick up the second thing. And so a lot of people from our tour got off the boat, but then there are still some of us that are here. And so we're actually going to get like, way more time because in like 15 minutes it'll be the end of our tour. So we're getting even more time and more beer. So take back what we said about in the tour. Like in this case, time is a metaphor for beer. You can eliminate the use of the word time and just replace it with the word beer. Yeah, we get more beer <laughs> for free. We're 15 beers away from our beer limit. It doesn't really work in Maybe that Maybe he is, but I've had two and I might... You know, I'm pretty close to the end for me, I would say. We have an early flight tomorrow. Are you going to finish that beer? Why do you want it? No, I want to go and get another one. There's only one back there down here. Going in there. I have to pee. Good morning. We are up and packed and waiting on our car to take us to the airport. Um, we didn't give you a tour of this place, but here's the downstairs. I won't go upstairs because the lights are off and everything. Um, but we're right on the street and we just have like a seat. <laughs> our stuff's all kind of all over it. And there's just the kitchen there and the bathroom's through there. And then upstairs is just a wardrobe and a bed. Do you, have, do you have anything to say? Yeah, the mirror, the windows are <clears throat> mirrors so we can see out, but can't see in, 
it's that new age technology. Sean's grumpy because I took the blankets when we were sleeping. Yes. We have just arrived in Sarajevo. Our flight was delayed, classic, and then we got put into a holding pattern above the city um, because Sarajevo is in a valley, so all the fog and clouds had rolled down from the mountains and there's no wind to blow them out. So we probably did about eight loops above the city before we finally landed. I'll do a quick mini tour of the flat. The guy who hosts, <coughs> hosts, the host. <laughs> really nice so this is the kitchen we got a cute little balcony here um, and we just got here and it unfortunately just ended but um, I'm pretty sure it was the um, call to prayer Muslim call to prayer on the loudspeaker which is something that we've never been in a city where they do that have we Jamie no no <laughs> so that was pretty cool so we're upstairs we've got a this is where I'll sleep and then Jamie will have this master bedroom and I'll be able to enjoy all the sheets, stretch out like an eagle, <laughs> spread my wings. Just kidding. And bathroom, nothing. But it's really nice. We're in the top floor above the house. His parents live downstairs. Um, he really seems like a nice guy. There's all kinds of, they got it like a, they run it like a mini hotel. They've got all the little snack or snacks down here. And he's got the sheet with all the costs there, and then look, you know, fully stocked. Talk about a mini bar. Right. Or a mini bar. Want some nuts? And it's Feeling not even nutty? that expensive. It's like the most Pretty expensive reasonable. thing is like a euro. And then look. They got a bunch of souvenirs here for you to bring home. <laughs> and then on these Charles extras. Oh, yeah, you, so this is like, under the sink. Oh man, I gotta get something to clean the sink with. Just let me get the. Oh my god! Just beers, beers, beers. <laughs> Did you say how I was freaking out on the plane? No, Jamie freaks out on planes now. I don't know why. She doesn't know why either. But she was freaking out on the plane. I, like, when I started flying, I mean, I guess I was young, so it's understandable I would freak out. But the last few years I've been flying because we've been traveling so much, and I've even traveled with friends that have, like, freaked out, and I couldn't understand why. I was like, this is literally just chill. Like, there are less plane crashes than car accidents, and I know that. But I still freak out now for some reason. I don't know what happened to me in my sleep. 